So finally, we come to the yin makaho portion of Harness the Power, where we've really heated the body with a number of different workouts. We've gone through the full life flow. And the same way the day begins and it moves into midday and then into evening, that's what we're doing with our bodies, becoming closer and closer to nature. So the first pose that we're going to work on is full forward bend, which targets the kidney and urinary bladder meridians, which we discussed in Embark on the Journey. Kidney being your central energy center. Working through the pose really helps to ignite all of the meridians that lead into that area after you've really exerted yourself and used up a lot of your energy during the day, you can gather, collect, and cool your body, which is just as essential as heating it and working out. So let's start with our unworkout in full forward bend. We're going to extend our legs out in front of us. Just release the legs. Start off with your hands behind you. And really just feel your body against the floor. So one of the most essential aspects of yin is that we're working with gravity. We're not fighting it. In Pilates, we defy gravity. And in yin, we give in to it. We surrender. So from this position, you're going to move the body forward in a curve. Take your hands by your legs. Drop your head weight. And Aaron and Ahmad get to enjoy this workout while I talk to you. And I'll hit a pose every now and again. But what I want to talk to you about in this first position is your neck. When you're sitting and you're driving, or you're in front of your computer, and you're pulling forward in your neck to concentrate on emails and things like that, you lose sight of your posture. So. It's very likely that when you enter into this first pose, it could be kind of painful. Don't let it scare you. That's kidney, which I mentioned in the first disc, speaks to fear. So whenever we enter a place or a position that makes us feel uncomfortable, of course we recoil. But in this circumstance, there really is very little reason to fear if you're focusing the breath into those areas of the body that create pain. Now, electrical pain is different from a kind of signal to wake up, I guess, or be aware of the body. So if you come into this position and you feel a little twinge or a stiffness, send the breath there. And you'll be amazed how if you're holding this pose for a few breaths, 10 to 20 or up to 5 minutes or 10, if you start off here, after 10 minutes, your head could sometimes touch the floor. Now, this is after months of practice, if you've never done this before. But for me, when I suffered from low back pain a year ago and started doing yin, my back pain went away. So very often, pain in the body has an emotional resonance. And it's not something that we think about, especially when we're not connected to the breath or the body. But hopefully, this practice will introduce you to yourself and your emotions. 